Hello everyone, welcome to the first hour of Fantasy Life for the 3DS. Um, so I decided to play this game because I just got Ever Oasis and this game kind of gives me the same vibe. Uh, this game is a role-playing game developed by Level 5 with production assistance from Brownie Brown and Hand for the Nintendo 3DS back in 2014. Yeah, old school 3DS for the win. Alright, let's begin. Hear my calming voice talk about crap. Please load my nothing. That'd be nice. So the one thing I didn't like about this game originally, um, <laughs> and this is very clever of them, all the save data is purely on the SD card. And you might be going, well, why would a game bother with that? Wouldn't it be better just to put it on the cartridge? Well, there's two reasons for that. One, um, to allow for more space for the actual game, because the game actually has a lot of content in it. And the other thing, and this is more of a rumor than a real thing, but they're trying to prevent cheaters. Which is very clever because a lot of the cheat devices depend on save data, which you have to pull off from the cartridge. I mean, sure, you can go in the SD and pull it out, but that's a lot more work, and who wants to do with that crap? Alright, let's do a whole hour of this game with this very juvenile music, which sounds like something from a Rugrats cartoon. Okay, let's start. Alright, you can pick your yender. Yay! Oop, oop. I am a boy. I'm a st I'm a l I'm a strong boy. Oh god, that's terrible. I'm an average boy. <laughs> I'll take average boy. I have a I kind of have... yeah, that's probably the closest. I don't know. I mean, I'm I have more of a pointed chin, but eh. hairstyle. I think this will do the trick. Yeah. I know I'm boring, I'm doing like literally my, my actual look instead of trying to like make him look all cool and stuff. Okay, eyes, 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 Oh, nope, that doesn't look right. Where's the eyes with a ridiculous amount of, oh. Mmm, no. Oh. Hee hee. Oh, there it is. That's, that's the right look. Yeah, baby. Yeah. And I got... Where's, where's Dark Amber? Yeah, baby. Yeah. I got maybe some big ol' eyebrows. Yeah. Nose? Big ol' nose. Oh, no, that's terrible. Oh, God, these are all terrible noses. This is not me. Oh, Pudgy. No. I would have gone with it. oh <laughs> drill nose. Oh Pinocchio, I mean big nose. Angular. Okay, I'm not gonna find the right nose. I know I knows for a fact. Oh god. I'm making bad puns now. Oh whoa, you could be an elf. I got these kind of nope. There. I'm trying too hard, aren't I? You're like Dude, just just pick something. No one actually gives a crap. You're right. None. Ew. Uh. Hehehe. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know you could. Man, I'm not gonna adjust it. And it's funny that you can get facial hair. Oh my god, I look totally evil now. There's like nothing, there's no way to make this face look less evil. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll change the mouth. I know it's starting to scare children. This is not a Halloween episode, so... There you go. Happy face. Yeah! Okay, voice. Yeah. Oh, nope. Yep. Yeah. I wasn't done yet. Okay, I'll, I'll be cool. I'm not really cool, but I'll be cool. Ah, uh, six characters. Poops. Ah, uh, that's a, that's like the bane of my existence. I can only do. I have to do seven characters. I'm gonna have to give my weird name. My like um, sci-fi name, if you want to call it that, because it does sound kind of sci-fi. 
It's, it's all you do is just drop the E. It's a, it's an android's name. Cyclone. All right, I could pick my life. Okay, so this is the part of the game that is kind of cool. Um, so there are twelve different lives or classes you can be. There's four combat and eight, or there's four combat. Um, I think three gathering and five crafting. I think that's how it works. These three are for gathering. These five are crafting, and these four of oh, these four are for fighting. Uh, for the sake of this hour-long thing, I would I'm gonna go stick with something more offensive because you just want to see me kill stuff, right? So let's go with mercenary. Oh God. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm a mercenary. I don't care. You, okay, don't worry too much. You can change your you can change your lives later. If anything, you actually leveled up all 12 lives at some point, so... Good to go. Yay, I got Buckethead. Ew, a movie. Riveria is a land of peace, magic, and dreams. I used to look down on Riveria from the clouds, but now I look up to the same sky. The moon lives behind the dream-filled haze of night. Reverians revere the moons as Lunaris. When the curtains of shadow falls, Lunaris bays all of Reveria in pools of its shimmering silver light. At the break of dawn, a call will go out to a new hero, a hero who now tosses and turns in an uneasy dream. This hero will choose between the sword and the wand. Perhaps this hero will select the needle over the axe, or the rod over the bow. A hero may forge legendary weapons, wield an epic blade, or brew magical potions. The choices are many. Perhaps this horror will sow, or saw. Perhaps the hero will sow and saw while on a seesaw. Ha! Sorry. I thought it was kind of funny. All this grand speech weighs on me after a while. Anyway, I see that the first light of the sign rise. Let's find out if our hero is ready to awaken. I think it's time for your story to begin. Oh, look at me. El Mastas, are you okay? What happened? What's going on up there? Should I call for someone? I was dowsing downstairs when I heard an awful ruckus up here. Are you hurt? I'm sorry I just came barging in, but I thought maybe one of those falling stones crashed to the roof. But it looks like everything's okay. Did you fall out of bed? I'll bet you were having an intense dream. Yeah, I guess so. You poor thing. Was it scary? Whatever, I have a scary dream up for weeks. Don't get me started. It was only funny because I see that you're okay now, of course. Oh, congratulations, by the way. I've heard you finally chose a laugh for yourself. How exciting. Have you checked the mailbox? I don't think you got your letter from the king yet. Not that I peaked. I don't mean to be nosy. It just kind of goes with the life of being a landlady, I suppose. Pop outside and check out the mailbox, dearie. Okay, Pam. Let's go, Pam. I When this game originally came out, I played this game way too much. Oh, it's guy with... Only one foot. This king. He has hidden feet. Whoa, he's a ninja of male. He should get an award for that. Over here, dearie. It's why I'm in the mailbox. I saw the royal seed here on the envelope. Cool, let's get the mail. Mail! Get the mail! Here's my club. Watch me, save them, drive back. I would bet cash that pressure at the right outcome. Thank you, talking letter. Okay. That's it. Cool. Oh. The letter from the king marks the beginning of your new life. Oh, this is so exciting. To start a new life? How wonderful for you. It makes you think to back to when... Look, I gotta get hold of myself. And you need to get a license before you report to the king. I got one. Oh, listen to you. What a terrible fibber. Just terrible. I could read you like a pamphlet, you. The guild office is just over there. See? You should be able to make it that far without getting lost. But I'll mark it on your map just in case. 
I going to be okay? You seem nervous. Or, well, maybe it's just me. I'm so excited for you. Here, take a piece of my candy. No, I insist. I will help you keep calm from the king. Really? I think candy usually does the opposite effect. Okay. Just pop in your pouch, Siri. That way you'll be have easy access to it no matter where you are. Pouch. Okay. Okay. I'm really... No. 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 I'm good. Go on. The king won't wait all day, you know. Don't forget to stop at the guild office first. This game has such amazing music. <laughs> ah. Sorry, I can't hate on it. I genuinely enjoy this, like, kind of, like, music. Anyway. Oh, hey. Well, laddie, you're sure to take your sweet time getting here, eh? You're cyclone, eh? Here's your novice license. Don't lose it. I don't want to have to do all the paperwork again. Woohoo! I'm a mercenary. Woohoo, I got the license, baby. Since you're here, read this. Explains everything you need to know about these. I totally changed his accent, didn't I? That's great. Play on close attention now. Repeating things makes me my sciatica flare up. Why would a kid know what sciatica is? It's just a word at this point. Okay, whatever. Nope. 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 Okay, good. That license will get you started, laddie. So don't keep his majesty waiting. Come and see me if you got any other questions. You know the way in the castle, don't you? When you leave here, just head north. I don't want any trouble, just let me fly by here. I got a better idea, little butterfly. How does it we play a game? This is a game called You Ain't Going Anywheres. Just leave me alone. Sounds like trouble outside the square. Yeah, that's about the way of these, these days. Oh, I can't read anymore. You try switching voices like on the fly while learning a dialogue for the first time. Say DFC. Even voice actors get to practice. Anyway. Now don't worry, we won't. <clears throat> now don't worry, we won't. <clears throat> What's his voice gonna be? Might as well enjoy the music a little bit. Now don't worry, we won't. <clears throat> God damn it. Well, don't worry, we won't hurt you much. Please, just let me go. Are you just flutter away after what you said? What? What did I say? I don't remember how, but I was thinking it was insulting. I was only responding to your little comment about putting me in the display case. That wasn't very... Oh. oh I missed... Whatever. I'm not just some regular old butterfly you can turn into a brooch or a hat pin. You probably shouldn't give us any ideas. We are quite aware how special a talking butterfly is. Yeah, we're gonna be eating good tonight. Oh, God. What? But butterfly wings aren't really filling, you know? And they're high in trans fats. Don't be a fool, we're going to eat you. We're going to sell you and make a tie sum of Dosh. Dosh's money. Well, that Dosh we shall purchase at Grand Feast. No, you can't do that. Hey, you there, friend. Um, tell these guys, uh, you know, what they, uh, can't do that. Now the talking butterfly? I'm just observing. Really? Well, I can't really blame you, I guess. Why get involved in the unconscio affairs of those that need help? I'll do my best as a fragile butterfly deal with these large and intimidating ruffians on my own. Oh my, not not this butterfly has the gall to label us as ruffians. Yeah, you're good. Let's see how ruffians we can get. I'm changing the voice, so I don't give a shit. Oh, I don't know where the situation's going. Hey, you there. Actually, I think I can really use your help. Fine, I'll help you. My friend, just go along with your business and leave it to deal with this quarrelsome insect. A squirrel's been shipwrecked. I'm gonna change his voice every time. I don't give a shit anymore. Which please less talk in front of the others. And you, nosy observer type, I ask you at once to let us be. This doesn't concern you. A man must be free to enrich himself as he sees fit. Either through work, art, or the acquisition of Dosh. Speaking of acquisition, Dosh, if you're gonna just watch, you should pay the price of admission. Sometimes we pick mushrooms or flowers and sell them to get by, other times we just take Dosh. 
Thanks for telling me what Muns is. So, friend, this is Butch said here. How about you give us all your dosh? It will be on our merry way. But you have the honor of emptying this pockets. Oh, how come I got do all the honor? Hey, be I don't see anything like it. The kids walk around with no dosh. What? I'm incredulous. Incredulous. Say it. I say I am. My God, it's a hard. God. How do you expect to get around this world with no dosh lying in your pocket? This joshless hobo and his chatty butterfly deserve each other's company. Oh, look at this. I knew you had something on you. Ain't no joshless candy. Um, I'm starving. starting to feel sorry for the kid now. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. Hand it over. Aww. My candy. This is usually to mind your own affairs. And for the love of Reveria, mix up dosh. You yeah, mix up dosh. That's my brother's credo. It's pretty good, but I've got my own credo. My credo's buckets. Remember that one, kid? I changed his voice like six times. I don't give jacks anymore. Phew, thanks for getting those guys off my back. I'm doing research all the life choices here at Riveria, so I've been asking a lot of questions. Those two are being so rude, so I asked, which life did you two select? Let me guess, Nimrod, or was it Nicompoop? Guess he didn't care too much for that, ha! <laughs> Maybe I should have kept quiet, but I couldn't just help it. Anyway, I owe you one. Thanks again. Well, I'm headed to the castle. I still have more research to do. Maybe I'll see you around. And the castle was, uh, uh, this, which way? Due north, right? Oh, and there it is up there. Yeah. Farewell, then. And good luck with your life. Bye. No, Navi, I need you. Oh, well. Okay, let's do our thing. Oh, uh, there's something kind of funny on the Wikipedia page. They're like trying to show you how to pronounce it, and they have it spelled out in Romanji, which are Japanese characters but but English like letters, and they tell you how to pronounce it. Fantasy Raifu. They literally say R A I F U. That is not a thing. Holt, I'm sorry to inform you. The royal court has a dress code that is enforced at all times. Thank you for doing the great links of putting on a pair of trousers. Former attire is acquired. At all times, the king isn't in there, for goodness sake. You can't just go there looking like you just fell out of bed. There are rules, you know. At least put on a tie or something. Show the king some respect. But that's not fair. Please keep your voice down, butterfly. But you just have to let me see the king. Up, oh, that's going over there. Help the butterfly. Oh, hello again. I see you two know each other. Yeah, this is my friend. See, when people help each other out, they cut have things like friends, you meanie. I can assure you I'm no meanie. I'm sorry, but I j we just don't allow insects in the royal court. It simply isn't done. The king's a very busy man. I'm sorry, but I ask have to ask you to leave now. He's prejudiced against butterflies. Can you believe that? In this day and age, they probably didn't even let you in to see the king because of the way you're dressed, huh? More prejudice! How could people get so uptight about dressing formally? You even have a personal invitation from the king. Ooh, this makes me so... Hey, wait a second. I think I know how to get us both inside the royal court. Wanna try something sneaky? Eh, sure, why not? So just trust me on this one, okay? I haven't got much practice hitting a moving target, so stand still. What do you do? Voila! You've held up a bow tie while so held to the first world's butter tie! Blech. Oh. So many bad jokes. Whatever. I could go see the king now because I got a butter tie. <laughs> Hold the name of the king. I will tell you again that your outfit is not. Ooh, what's that sparkly thing under your chin? That's the prettiest boat I've ever laid my eyes on. It's so fetching. You should have worn that earlier. Such a splendid piece of finery is passed to Rome in the castle. Go on. The tie here seems a little unlikely, but go on ahead. Psst, 
I can't believe it really worked. We you play it cool, now just try on there and let, let like you belong at the hotel. I can't talk anymore, I'm done. Shush. <laughs> You certainly took your time to respond to my summons. I'm sorry if I can inconvenience you all. After all, I'm I, Eric, a living king of Castel, am only the ruler of our entire realm. Sure, let me wait. <sighs> I ask for so little. Anyway, so it'll be my royal duty to explain to you how all the citizens choose a life they wish to pursue. As King Eric, your rightful, kind, and loving ruler, allow me to congratulate you on this auspicious day. After all, it's not every day that we're going to be graced by the presence of a young, uh, uh... Sorry, which slide do you choose? I, I forgot, I, I forgot what they said in the morning briefing. Oh, Eric! Oh, Eric, honestly, can't you just pretend to be in slightly bit interested? Well, I can't be expected to remember a little, uh, oh, does it matter? So may the life you have chosen lead to the glory, fame, success, all that good stuff, call it. Psst, so this is a king, a little boy? I'm sorry, what was that? Now you're mumbling to yourself. My speeches are so boring, is that it? I'd like a lad who isn't afraid to show his feelings. Refreshing change from the common lick spittle. Let me introduce my wife, Queen Ophelia. Congratulations on starting your life cyclone. Your hard work in your new life will be a great benefit and an inspiration to those closest to you. Please remember that what you do for yourself you also do for all of Riviera. Did I read the card right? She smells like a meadow in springtime. I like her. The Roxy, smiling young lady to my right is. Ah, shit. Gone. She is gone, darling. Please, Princess Laura. Left quite a while ago. That girl is shameless, even when it comes to openly defying my orders. I ordered to stay in the castle. Does she know that children are supposed to listen to their parents? Sounds like the princess has a real wall streak. We'll just have to deal with it any later. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. As a subject of mine, I ask you to conduct yourself with dignity at all times. Most importantly, enjoy your chosen life and cherish the opportunity to share it with others. Gather as much stosh as you wish. Pursue a life filled with bliss if you so desire. Or just collect dandelion pus until you keel over. It's up to you. Knock yourself out. All who reside in our great land of Revere are free to live as however they see fit. Cyclo the mercenary will follow a singular path here to uncharted since the first sunrise. Please accept these gifts from the royal family as token of our happiness to your future prosperity. Money! World map. We would also like to provide you with a basic set of novice armor for your life. Try it on, please. Ah, oh, look like a little tweep. I look really depressed now. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm done. Well, Cyclone, you scored here. Thanks, I don't care. It's equipment. It's not like... It's not rocket science. It's just... Menu. How's that for even the slightest bit interested? Very impressive, darling. Thank you. Good to know that the king still got it. Now, on to our next matter of business. As you may or may not know, in Revere, we offer a master for each life. This will be your mentor. You'll begin as a novice under the tutelage of a master. This is how it's always been done. Once you have earned your master's respect, you'll be promoted to the ranks of fledgling. Your life does not change, just your rank. With hard work, you may achieve the level of master yourself. Who knows, maybe you can even surpass and obtain the level of hero or... Dare I mention... Legend. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First you must meet with the mercenary master. May doing so prepare you for an exciting and fulfilling chapter in your newly budding life. That took a whole 20 minutes. Woohoo! Yeah! I did nothing in 20 minutes. Well then, Cyclone, my key subject, now go make your way to your master's post haste. I wish you a ton of luck in your new mercenary life. Should you ever become disheartened, you're always welcome to draw strength here at the castle. Just don't, you know, spend all your time just hanging around the castle. Fine, whatever. I don't even have a weapon yet. Or maybe I do. I don't know. I don't know what I got. I ain't that guy who knows what he got. In his strong, in the funk, oh my gunk. Bum bum bum, gonna know. In my hope, gotta away, all away. Gotta keep on going now. Beppy date, bum bum bum. 
And butter tie off. That was great. I got you the kink thanks to you. You play it real smooth in there. Well done. Well, I guess that's where we part ways. Good luck to your new life, so clone. Did I mention that your new duds look really great? The king definitely set you up. <sighs> you seem a little naked around the neck, though. If it gets cold, that's not going to be comfortable. It's almost as if your outfit could use one more accessory. Hmm. You just look like you're lacking a little something. Uh, yeah, so... Hey, I got another great idea. It just doesn't make sense for you to go out alone. I mean, it's just a big world cyclone. You could just get so much more accomplished with a friend. Your salad speaks volumes. You're just gonna make me come out and beg, aren't you? Come on! You gotta let me come with you! Revere is no place for a butterfly on its own. Yeah, why not? Yes, you won't regret this, I promise. I knew you'd see it my way. I mean, nothing. We need to visit the master next. The king gave you a map, right? Let's bust out that baby out and see where we're going. Let's see where we need to go and make the acquaintance of your new life master. Oh my god, I get it. Okay, yeah, it's cool. Um, sure. Got it. Whoa, what the? What just happened? Cool, I met the king at the castle. Now I gotta go open my map. Go home. Nope. Okay, I gotta go left. Okay, left to the mercenary. Where is my master? My master is down here. Oh, the crown. I must say, the mercenary life is difficult. You must be ready to fight truth and yell against some fearsome beast. You know you're up for that. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. I need key senses and a quick reaction time in battle. A mercenary depends on sharp swords and strong arms, you know. Well, there's a lot more to that. Mercenaries always see their quest through the very end. They laugh in the face of danger and throw caution to the wind. You must stay in the fight, no matter how big or how fearsome your enemy is. Hurry, hurry! Even that enemy is an enormous, scaly, fire-breathing dragon. Why a troop mercenary stands tall, blade in hand, gladly facing down all foes, even their strongest the monsters are no match. Did I mention the sharp swords? Yes, I think I did. It's worth repaying, though. And of course, a mercenary carries no shield under the abundance of confidence. If you're still sound taking up this task after hearing everything out I just told you, you might just have the grit to become truly great. Perhaps I should regale you with a full chance of mercy. <laughs> Cervantes! <laughs> Perhaps you better leave that there. Your little chats tend to go on and on. You don't want to scare the poor lad away. Let's <laughs> get the best stuff! Oh well, it's my job to train new mercs, not frighten them off. So I'll give you the chance to be my train, but but first, you need something no mercy can do without. We call it a gift. A present from me to start you on your road to becoming a mighty hero. It's a sword! Yay! Prove straight to... With a blade, yeah, you'll explore the world and test your metal against the mighty of foes. I kid, I kid. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We start off with something a little less... A uh, granted scale. Don't get me wrong, we'll find a good test for you. Quelling some local disturbances or something. Perhaps the fine chap behind the counter there has some work for you. Cool. I did it, I'm a master. I see all Cervantes has gave you first great sword. Congratulations! Master Cervantes can drown out a bit, but he really has a great man and a great guide for beginning mercenaries. Anyway, if you're looking to try out some new Claymore, I can point you in the right direction. We got some reports of a monster trouble over in Giles Farm. 
but I'm afraid I don't have many details. I don't even know what kind of monsters you can expect. I'm sure it's nothing too dangerous, just a bit of standard farm monster trouble. This is all part of being a mercenary. You'll get a lot of monster fighting jobs. You have to weigh in demands of the given task against the abilities and decide if you're up to it. It's a simple life, but it's definitely a rewarding one. A more worthy calling. Hey, David! Save your my man! He tells Bard! Ah, uh, you get what you're going. Uh, uh, get out of here, kid. I sent my son over there a while ago to check on things, but he hasn't come back yet. His name is Jude. He's a novice mercenary, just like you. I'm not worried. If there's any trouble, I'm sure you uh, found a good hiding spot. If you run into him, maybe you two can team up. Excellent idea! You're gonna learn some basics of swordplay from John Ju. Bah, bah, bah. Right. The great sword I gave you is big and heavy. Mm -hmm. Weighing is all about grip, you know. You gotta hold it tight at the shaft. I mean, not. I mean, that's to say the best swordsman isn't necessarily the strongest. You better get going, lad. If you stick around, you'll, you'll never get to the farm in time to help. Whew! That voice is a pain. That is a painful voice. That hurt my feels. Boop, ba, boom, boo. Okay, let's do stuff. Oh, there he is. Wow, I can't do it. They're just too scary. Wow, oh, woo. I thought you were just my father. Don't scary like that. Huh? Yeah, I'm supposed to be investigating some reports of a monster troubles at Giles Farm. Say, you look like a mercenary, too. Wait, did my father tell you to find me? He did, didn't he? I dreamed of being a merc my entire life. But it's a lot more scary or difficult than I realized. My father's been telling me epic mercenary stories since I was a little kid. Hey, Master Cervantes. Ah, uh, you get him going. Well, he'll tell you merc tales for hours. I think I've heard all the stories. Legendary mercs, blade swinging, fighting here, some beasts. Adventures through forest, over desert, across the ocean, even the islands in the sky. I'm sure he made some of it up, of course, but I'm always hung on every word. I want to become a hero ever since the first story. Huh. Master Servine doesn't expect you to get your greatsword trained for me, does he? Uh oh. I think he wants to think I already mastered the techniques. Oh, but these things are so heavy. I barely lift a greatsword, let alone swing one. I do have an idea, though. I know a place where... Uh, hey, what's your name again? Cyclone? Alright then, Cyclone. Let's head out. I think I know a spot in West Castile where we can train. Yeah, I got a party member who sounds like a nerd. Here we go. We're going to West Castile. Going to West Castile. Gonna ignore all these cool looking people and go to West Castile. We're going all the way to West Castile. So I can hit something with my steel. Oh. Oh, it's over here. By the way, you can pick up stuff. Flower. A lot of th if it looks like if it looks like it's kinda of, it's popping out, you could probably collect it. Like all these eggs. And you, for a lot of crafting you have to get egg you have to gather like everything. Like these. What's this? Here you go, we call this the proving stone. Many mercenaries use it to sharpen their skills. Cervantes once told me if you break a stone like this with your blade, you have the makings of a great mercenary. Only... It seems impossible, doesn't it? He did say there's some kind of secret to it. Maybe you just hold down your sword and go? Ah, yeah! Right? That should work. Mmm... hi -ya! Huh? Where is, why didn't that work? My hi -ya was pure gold! I mean, sure I was too worried about hurting my hands to actually swing the sword, but... Ah, who am I kidding? I'll never be a real mercenary. I can't believe Master Cervantes wants me to teach you about swinging a sword! What's with all the fuss over there? Oh. What? Who are you? Never mind who I am. You blubbering is keeping me from my nap. Hold on a sec. What are you doing with this old proving stone? Now tell me you're training. You know about this stone? Hmm, you could say I suppose. How about I show you two kids the old proving stone trick? For starters, your stance is all wrong. When it comes to great swords, technique trumps power. Like so. Oh, okay, that was a... 
I, I learned a great sword skill from watching him pull out his sword. I'm, I'm smart. You got it? Not really. You over there, the quiet one, why don't you give it a go? You don't need that much power to wield a great sword effectively. The most important thing is your grip. Equip your claymore, then speak to me. Okay. Uh, Choose your useless getaway. Okay, so pouch. Nope. Menu. Equip gear. And. Yay! Oop, nope. You've equipped your blade! Good! Well, the sword as I showed you before, then try and swing at the Rubik's Stone! You don't need to swing hard! Let the sword do the work and keep swinging! Okay. How do I attack it? Oh! Hit! <laughs> What's why do? What's why do? Nope. Doop, ba doop. And oh, I broke the stone! Yay! I did it. Clap for me. Wow, you broke it! That—that's incredible. Ah ha! The quiet one's not too shabby with a blade. Not too shabby at all. Right now, I'm going to get try to get some shiny before anyone else comes along and disturbs me. Ha! Hey, he's gone just like that. Who in the world was that old plushling? Well, anyway, I can't believe you actually broke that stone. Hey, I bet you're great at fight. You should help me sort all things out of the farm. I'm pretty sure my father and Master Devontes want you to help me. Good thing, since I'm not too great on my own. I took the job, but now I'm not too sure I'm up to it. But I bet if we'll be fine if we go together. Hell, our Cyclone. Let's go to Giles Farm. Giles is his farm. Giles Guild Guard Farm. Guild Farm. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's gather all this stuff. Up, oh, I can't min. Boop, 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 boop. More dandelion puffs. Mm. Go all the way to Goss Farm. Oh, he's right over here. Perfect. Oh, what happened here? No, so did someone steal all your carrots? Oh, that's a that's a darn shame. Well, well, did someone steal your Castillo blooms too? Gosh. That's so bad. Oh god, that's creepy. Okay. What the devil's that? They're, they're coming! Wait, just a carroty? They're carrots that have somehow mutated and come to life. They're nothing but little pranksters. Shoot, even I can hear one of these guys. Up. Oh. Now there's three of them. What? More of them? That's too many, I can't do it. Cyclone, you got this, right? Yeah, you got this. You already got the whole great sword thing figured out. I'll go stand at a safe place over there and uh, give you tactical advice. I'm sure you'll be fine, Cyclone. There's no match for a stone cold stone breaker. Well, you're still useless. Um. Ah, carrots. Carrots are evil. Ah! The carrot bit me. Or pumped me. I don't know what the carrot does. They look kind of like those little ginger things that they put on ginger candies. Like that creepy little gnomey thing. You did it! You're something else, Cyclone! A fight between two pe people and veggies? Ain't something y'all see every day! So, guys, I see that solves your problems for you. Oh, I have anything. Look at Rye Rain. All right, let's go back to Master Cervantes. We did a finished job. <laughs> oh, what a joke! What a terrible joke you are, friend. Gonna go see my friends. Boop 
Well, we're back with your first stop, and you broke the perfect sound. Impressive. Well, no plushling shows how to do the trick to doing it. I don't plushling you, sorry. Yeah, he sure seemed to know a lot about the great sword. Is he a friend of yours? Well, I wonder if it was him. Ha ha, help! It's awful! Ha! Ha! Need to catch my breath! Well, ha! Uh, basically! Ah! Uh, jeez! Ha! Uh, yes! I came to say thanks to you youngins! I forgot to say it before, but I'm right grateful for all your help! Um, no problem, but uh, didn't you say something was awful? You're right! I did say that, didn't I? Uh, there is something awful going on! One of them razor beaks is loose, my friend's field in West Castiel! Is that so? Razor beaks so dangerous! Dangerous? Why in the world would someone show up around here? Well, y'all feel so inclined, ask it yourself! This rate, this field will be torn to pieces! Yo, ho, go, girls! Don't look at me, I can't do this! Well, certainly, up to the recycler. Great, let's get it done then! We have a brush of challenge on your first day as a mercenary, that's quite unusual, Honda! What? You're saying this here is a mercenary's brand spanking new? See, dangerous, Master Cervantes. This isn't just a bunch of bratty carrots, this is a dangerous beast! Rob, this young girl doesn't fear, can't fear things. Listen up, kid! Sometimes the mercenary's gotta put aside his thoughts of personal safety. When vicious monsters are on the loose, well, it's just what we do. We must stay straight every day preparing to face those foes. I can't. Oh, I know, I know. This is vicious is what attacking, folks. Uh, no. You should be quite familiar with the answer, Jude. What are you feeling right now, lad? No, uh, 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 fear. That is the correct answer. <laughs> I can't talk anymore, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey! Tot! Trust me in the fray, I've always thought it was the best way to train young mercs. I'm like a mother eagle pushing the young out of the nest. That's why I'm gonna send you on your way. Perhaps I've been asking a little much. Well, I won't just shove you two in the wall with no guidance. I have a special technique to show you. Hey! You learned to move from me swinging my sword. Yeah, charge attack. Now, Cyclone, take your blade and carve your way through this adventure. Oh, I can't do Cervantes anymore. I should have picked the I should have picked the seamstress. I could do a female voice longer than that. Ooh. Uh, I never thought I would choose a I would want to choose a life based on whether or not I can voice act the characters. Oh, did I just go the wrong way? Cause I'm an idiot. Yes, I did. Okay. So I'm dumb. Because West is West. You know, everyone, sometimes when you want to go west, you should head west, right? Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Herbs. This isn't west, this is south. Oh, oh, this field? I'm ready for action. Oh, it's the first guy, or a different guy. Ah, someone help! Stop that thing! Um... It feels everything to me. Huh? Oh, uh, did God send you to help? Please protect my field, I'm begging you. Oh, ho! Oh. Quite a responsibility be given. I thought I'd come and help this poor fellow. But perhaps I'll leave it to the youngster generation this time. The life of the mercenary is full of pressures like this. Can you overcome this foe? Why? Wait! We're on another hatchling mercenary. Cyclone, let me help you! Two hatchlings and one wild rooster. Er, this encounter grows more and more intriguing. I shall watch with great interest. Though I suppose I have to offer some help. Here, take this. Mm, uh, I'm gonna live. That's the beast we're facing? Maybe I'm not ready after all. 
No, I am a mercenary. I will fight. I'm not fighting this. Not fighting this time, Cyclone. I'm going to go and fight. Ha ha. That's not even their great sword. That's a that's a baby sword. Wow, it hurt me. I'm a chicken. Ha! Oh, wait. Wait, how am I doing the spinning thing? I found. Ah. Mip. Yeah, I did it. Combat. I'm so good at this. I am the best at combat. Did we win? I I have my eyes shut mostly. Ooh, imagine that. Two young mercenaries managed to take down Razorbeak. That wasn't that hard. Darn right they did. They saved my field. I must ask, who's training you youngsters? It would be Cervantes, would it? Yes, of course it is. Looks like he's got his hands on a couple of promising talents. <laughs> you know Master Cervantes? You can say that. Anyway, my name is Miguel. I look forward to seeing how you progress, blah, blah, blah. Once you own your skills a bit more, come find me at Al Magic. Bye bye. That was, that was great. Your mercenaries are amazing. Thank you so much. My fields are safe. All thanks to you. Place takes us to the token of my gratitude. Money, more money, like my money. Cool. I get to do that voice again. I don't want to. I don't want to be Cervantes anymore. He hurts. Doing a very rough voice for a long time f's with your throat. <clears> this <throat> is why I'm glad I'm only doing an hour of this game. I don't think if I had to do that character for more than well, as long as I have to do him, jeez. Got to do it for the for the the people at home who want to hear every character voice acted by someone, and by one person nether, nonetheless. Ah, oh, you're back. You don't have to say a word. I can tell I went but just by look at you. Dude, I'm impressed by you how you took it upon yourself to help out. Well, I was still scared, but thinking of all those tales of great mercenaries gave me courage. Thinking of great mercenaries, that old plushly showed up again. Say his name was Miguel. What? That old beanbag still alive? You know, I thought I recognized his name when he told us. He's Miguel, the legendary swordsman, isn't he? You two were friends once, weren't you, Master Cervantes? Now, like you did that young cyclone here, working together to beat even the strongest of foes. Oh, yeah, exactly. He and I were bitter rivals. Oh, really? Uh, I'm sure he was more of a friendly rivalry between two fellow mercenaries. Here, right, let's move on, shall we? To tell you the truth, Master Cervantes, I was actually considering giving up being a mercenary. Is that so? It what? It was. But seeing Cyclone fight so bravely remind me of why he became a mercenary. And I figured that even the heroes from your mercenary stories were scared sometimes. Anyway, I decided to stick with it. Well, of course you have. You're my people, after all. Hey, you know, I don't know about that. Haha, <laughs> well, even the statement sounds a bit more confident than before. Oh, but you're soft on the boy. He's got a long way to go yet. You sure if you saw a sock on because it's damn pop. Well, I can learn well by watching and talk on foes. Sometimes I must raise me bold take actions that seem reckless to others. Remember that bravery and recklessness are two very different things. And go with bravery. <laughs> Perhaps that is true. Please, I don't want anything. But Master Cervantes. Hold on, Cervantes. Where is it? Uh, yes, I for completely forgot. Cyclone, let me evaluate your work today. Yeah. I got 100 stars. <gasps> I ranked up! Wow! I am now a fledgling with 10 health and 2 strength. Excellent, you should be bright proud. And I must say, my instincts were still as short as ever. I ran. From now on, when you complete mercenary tests, be sure to report back to me. If you earn enough stars, your rank as a mercenary might just increase. 
Cyclone Jude, both of you should aim to become Reverius greatest mercenaries. <laughs> you left your party. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to talk to him anymore. I don't want. I don't want to talk to him anymore. I don't want. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to Cervantes anymore. I, uh, at least I leveled from that. Hey, yeah, look at all the things that's happened. Yeah, it was safe. Boop, 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 boop. Wow, well done. There's something different about you, mercenary. You almost look like you're glowing. Those stars are going to be serve you well. You still haven't shown me where you live. Let's head back to your place for a little shed eye. I won't get the quest. I'm not going to talk with you. Gotta make sure that you do. Oh. Wait. Maybe I have to chat with him. I'm not going to voice act every. Oh. Yay! Roast mutton. Oh, I'll talk to you again. Okay. Let's keep chatting up. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, hey, yo. Cool, let's go head back to my house. Oh, I can do the shortcut thing. Or, I just lost it. Let's go home. To my room. Yes. It's getting, it's getting so late. Oh, I hope everything's okay. <gasps> oh my, you're home. I was just uh, sweeping your room. A broom. That's what I need. Tee -hee. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just worried about you. I can't help it. So tell me, did er how did everything go? Great, but we're both pretty beat, to be honest. Oh my, well, uh, I'm sorry. I don't believe we've met. You can just call me Butterfly. It's simple. I like it. Cyclone really helped me out today. Well, that's nice to hear. It's a pleasure to meet you, Butterfly. I'm Pam the Landlady. The first day of your new life and you already picked up another mouth to feed, eh? I hope you two have enough thought about the responsibility that kind of relationship involves. Oh, sure, don't worry. I'm very independent. I can hunt down my own sugared water. <laughs> oh, dear. I was just teasing you. A talking butterfly as charismatic as you? Well, it's no wonder you two become such fast friends. If you ever want to chat, come and pay me a visit. I'm usually just downstairs. That sounds lovely. Thank you. Well, I don't want to keep you, Cyclone. I know you've got a long day. But I did want to give you a little something. I've been thinking your room could use a, I don't know, personality. So I got you this. <gasps> a chair? <laughs> It's not much, but go ahead and play somewhere. I think you'll feel different in this room. Yeah, I could decorate a room. Oh my god, it's so amazing. That's such an amazing thing I can do. I can decorate my room with, with things I just got from a lady. I can I can go in my storage, or I can go back here, or I can go ahead and arrange my own room, and I can get decorations, and I can pick this chair, and I can place it somewhere. I'm like, oh my god. You know what? I want a creepy guy watching me while I sleep, so that's a perfect spot. Perfect. Fantastic. That it? Oh. Oops. That looks lovely. It does change the space a little. Now that you all started your life, you can earn plenty of dash by doing things like for things like furnishings. Or you can just save up your money. Don't think up some sort of materialistic. If you do end up saving enough dosh, I can show you some other places that are a little bigger. I run a real sick area to see out of the river downstairs. I'm usually around. If you're interested, come down and we can chat about that. Or anything else for that matter. But do keep in mind that the dosh and stars are important. The key to a happy life is bliss. The bliss, son! This can help you enjoy all sorts of different perks, both at home and in your travels. Don't push yourself, though. Be sure to come back and rest up whenever you're tired. Plenty of sleep is key to a life full of bliss. Well, I'll be off now, dearies. Be sure to get some rest, Cyclone. You as well, Butterfly. Well, do. Thanks for your help. 
Sounds like we should get you some bliss, huh? I can't wait to see how bliss will change your life. Oh, maybe that's what... Mm. Hey, check this out. You'll never guess what I can do. I got you perform bliss checks for you. <laughs> I was expecting some kind of reaction there. Well, never mind. Just let me know if you ever want to check out how much bliss you've acquired. We'll see what you got tallied up and all. Want to give it a quick shot now? Yeah, sure. I was hoping you'd say that. It's time to check the bliss. Ooh, I did it. Well, look at all the things I did. Yay! I got a lot of bliss. Why is that? A, a, what was that? Okay, what's what we got? Bag, bag. Uh, that sounds stupid. Haircutting, you could change your hairstyle, okay. Uh, more shopping. Ride a horse. Wait, what? Ah! Huh. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna be playing long enough. Why don't you just bigger, bigger storage always? Always go for storage, especially in games like this where you have to collect stuff. Cause you'll run out quick. Great job, Cyclone. If you keep gathering bliss at this rate, you're gonna be racking up the bliss bonuses in no time. Bliss is collected by doing everyday things. Report to the butterfly. Bliss bonuses. Let me know whenever you want me to perform a bliss check for you. I was planning to flap around quietly outside so I wouldn't bother you, Cyclone. But I think I just fly around in here instead. That way we can keep talking. So if you'd like to talk to me, just come back here and I'll be happy to help. You're really not so big on conversation, are you? That's okay. I can do most of the chatting. I gotta say, you handled everything like a champ today. I'm so glad I chose you, Cyclone. I mean, not that I chose you, I'm glad we just happened to run into each other the way we did. Today is totally random and all. Quest, quest, quest. Totally. So, uh, I guess that's it for small talk, huh? Well, regardless, I can't wait to see what Reveria has in store for us. Let's rest up for now, Cyclone. Boop, 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 beep, beep. I probably yelled into this microphone a few too many times. Yep. That's alright. Thank you for your help today. I had so- oh. Thank you for your help today. I've had so much fun. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. I'm so excited. I just can't sleep. There's a secret I need to know. It's hidden somewhere in this world. It may be a ray too late, but I'm hoping that with your help, What's gonna happen? I just go with the end the episode. This is the little cinematic they threw into the episode. So apparently you're the kid, but his room is way better decorated than mine. Or maybe it's like, like no people. Whoa, it's a church with an artisan. Oh, look, it's a lumberjack. Oh, they'll show you the different, like, lives you can have. Or they're going to stop there. Heh, <laughs> frog apple. Oh, look at that guy go. Oh, no, stop! Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, look at all the people I'm gonna see in the game. I think those are mostly all the, um, those are all the masters. Or at least people from that class. Archer. Oh, got the bird. Oh, that's that's a lot of poop. He said a cave full of poop. That's a poop cave. Oh, okay, I thought that'd be something much worse.
Anyways, um, this episode's probably gonna end very soon, so let's get my little outro since I'm here. Um, so this does bring us to the end of the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Also, don't forget to go on Twitter and find the post for this video and like and retweet as well. I'm Lord Cyclone, and I will say goodbye as soon as this is over. Which is probably really soon. Almost there now. Yay! Tile screen after an hour. Did it. Bye.